for turbofan engines spooling up to their maximum power. Radio will release the brakes allowing the engine's 42,000 pounds of thrust to accelerate the aircraft to its takeoff speed of 120 miles per hour. On takeoff, Radio and Benuto will perform a dirty roll while retracting the landing gear and continue over the top in a half Cuban 8.
setting up for a maneuver known as the square loop. Selecting afterburner as the jet approaches show center, radio will rapidly reposition the nose four times while flying a square path through the sky. Recovering at 2,800 feet, Radio Menudo will execute a loaded roll to complete the maneuver. From the right, the square loop.
not complete until his aircraft is back aboard its floating home. Landing on a few hundred feet of moving ship at 130 miles per hour is extremely challenging and a matter of great pride for naval aviators. Ladies and gentlemen, have your cameras ready for the Super Hornet touch and go to low transition. Super Hornet can actually double as a tanker 
we uh, have the ability to hold a pond that can give gas to our uh, fellow aviators on board the ship. So you actually refuel in midair, is that correct? That's correct. You have a probe that comes out of the side of the nose, is that what happens? That's correct, a probe will come out the side of the nose and we'll uh, drive that probe straight into a basket, start getting fuel flow. So you call that, well it's kind of an indelicate word, but you call it passing gas, right? That's right. <laughs> All right, now as they come back around at about 140 or so miles an hour, they're aimed for a specific spot on the runway so they can touch down. And with your landing on a carrier, you don't do what so much a landing as you do a controlled crash. That's right, uh, typical approach to the carrier, we're going to be at about 130 to 135 miles per hour, and we'll be coming down at about 600 to 700 feet per minute. Wow, so you get slammed down pretty good. That's right, and uh, part of the reason we do that, we have a short distance to land on, and we need to get rid of some of that energy, trade that airspeed into that uh, hard landing to be able to get rid of that airspeed and catch the wire and stop. Wow. And with four wires, uh, you have four, they're all insurance, but what's the best one to catch? We always try to target the three.